The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Uh, Starscream brought some stuff to my attention today, and I'm glad he did because this was some real good stuff he brought up today. And as you can see for yourself and all the reading that you're going to do here, and then his explanation, I want to explain to y'all something. If they're going to play this dirty a pool, which we know they've already done, we need to do this, people. We need to take a box of some sort. And if you voted for Ron Paul, and you're going to vote for Ron Paul in Florida, since South Carolina is much, basically too late for us to do or get it going. If we get the vote going with uh, the boxes, we can keep an eye on the votes. We can actually count the ones there. And then we can tabulate it ourselves according to what they got. And each precinct can take that and have a YouTuber put it on the internet. And then the YouTubers can get out here and count it ourselves. And we can show a true count of what's really going on. Uh, especially if this right here is true and they're cheating, we need to prove it. And that's a good way to do it, folks. Is put it in a box and tally, tally, tally it up and see if your precinct comes with the same amount of counts as uh, they're saying he's getting. That way we can prove the right or the wrong that they're doing. That's the only way that we can show that they're cheating. And if they're cheating, uh, it's bad business. We, we need to do something about this and make sure that they can't give us total electronic tallying if they can't make sure that it's going to be our vote and not somebody else's, their vote that they want to put in under their little back doors that they have on everything they got. I got a couple of clips in here. And I want you to look at them. Uh, they're actually, they're pretty cool. Uh, I want you to go to uh, Star Screams channel and uh, really watch his video because his video is is very very informative. I'm showing you clips of links that he put up to make this video myself, and. It was a very, he did very, very well doing this. But if we're going to beat the system, the screwed up system that's so screwed up, we're going to have to be smarter than they are and not play their game. So with that, I want you to listen to this clip. And that it will show an 18 uh, vote victory in that precinct for for. Mitt Romney, which will give him a statewide victory of 14 votes over... From out of nowhere, it's Rick Santorum. So, I, I don't understand. You're saying that they basically have come to an agreement as to what the, the votes are going to be in the, Clinton? The, the uh, official, the person who's got the official piece of paper is missing. But the Romney and Santorum people who are monitoring it agree on what the number is. They apparently have rounded up the representatives of the camps who have agreed, yes, we were there, we know exactly what the vote total was, and we both agree to, uh, agree to what it was. Okay, that's the clip. Now, this is the poll that they're showing right now that I can find, that uh, Gingrich come out of nowhere, being almost tied for last place well not last place but uh well yeah well, pretty much no perry was last uh but anyway he's tied for second place right now uh my prediction is is what you see right here what you see right here what you just saw that's my prediction and then you got a little calculation here of the money of uh santorum and obama that you're seeing here, the money difference between the two. Big money financing both of them. They don't want nobody in there other than the big money people. Big money wants to put who they want in there so they can be their little puppets. So y'all remember that. 
all this stuff is coming and it's coming hard so y'all need to get out there and vote and put out you some boxes and if you go through if they won't let you inside to do it do it outside and and put up a sign if you voted for Ron Paul and you want the truth put your vote in here as well that'll get that'll get the truth out and then everybody on YouTube pick up the stories and cal cal calibrate them all and count them and let's see who's telling the truth and who's telling a lie heads up god bless much love and watch this next clip and please go see the rest of his video because i'm gonna link it in here too back it up with some stuff that i think uh, looks a little bit corrupt and because i did a little bit of digging myself so listen to what she has to say first vote fraud may happen with an open system that we can see but then we can see it, or it may happen with a concealed system we can't see that's controlled by a corporation. But what we have to have is a structure so that we can see what's going on, because if we can see it, that will ultimately help prevent boat fraud or catch it or expose it. So what's going on now, it, it's unbelievably dangerous uh, to the whole democratic structure. In fact, it removes the democratic structure. What we have is, uh, already we have one company which is in charge of results reporting for it. I wrote in my article over 525 United States jurisdictions this fall. It's actually going to be over 900 jurisdictions in 26 states. Instead of, but you'll go to your county website and you'll look at that and it'll say, oh, here's the results. Well, not really. A lot, in over 900 counties, when you go to your county website, you're actually looking at a redirected site out of Tampa, Florida. And so all the results for 26 states and 900 locations are actually going to Tampa, Florida before they're reported. And then we add to that. That firm that reports the results is then purchased by another firm out of Spain. And that firm out of Spain also produces the voting system. Now, there you get, and by the way, the type of voting that that firm is, uh, which is called CYTL, S-C-Y-T-L, the type of voting that it's promoting is the worst kind of voting. It's Internet voting. And the reason it's the worst is because the public can't see who cast the votes into that Internet system. They okay. So, what I decided to do was, since it's a software system, and since I know a lot about software, I decided to do a little bit of digging, and I decided to follow the money a little bit here, and see what's exactly going on. So, the reason she says all these, um, all your votes in all these different places will consolidate into Florida, is because this company right here, SOE Software, which also does... Um, election management or voting management uh, they were bought out by that company Siddle okay which is this company right here and so Siddle basically allows people to do and they're actually promoting internet voting and so what it says up here at the top here it says electronic voting is regarded by many governments as the next natural step in the evolution of the electoral process because of the potential to increase voter turnout rates but see, voter turnout rates um, doesn't matter if they're not accurate. And here's the reason why it's not transparent. It's not transparent because the only person that can manage the data is somebody that is familiar with, how, with knowing how to use a database. So if you can imagine that everybody is on their computers doing internet voting, and by the way, all you get apparently when you do the internet voting is you get this, um, you get something kind of like when you buy something on, online and it shows you. You uh, print this screen to make sure that you've got your, your digital receipt. That's basically what you get, okay? And um, But see, that doesn't do you any good because your digital vote goes out there and it disappears at that point. Nobody can keep track of it. The only person that knows what's going on with all that is the person that's in control of the database or the IT company that's in, in control of the database. So that can be done at a, you know, they have several different levels that you can do it at. But the danger with that is, is that those that data could be skewed, even though they say they have uh, security in place and all that kind of stuff. I can tell you this: I've worked, I've done a lot of work with companies, very large companies, doing database management and stuff like that. And I can tell you this: databases get 
they get corrupt in some places sometimes. And it's always easy to say that it's an accident. Okay? Um, all kinds of things can happen. And the problem with that is, is that it's very easy to, to, to skew the data. Here's our leaders at Balderton Capital. Okay? Um, so I went through each one of these guys' profiles. And uh, so, check this out. Tim joined Balderton as a general partner in 2007. He was previously a partner of Goldman Sachs, where he spent 18 years at Goldman. Tim held various roles, including global head equity uh, capital markets and vice chairman of Goldman Sachs International from 2005 to 2006. This is starting to get a little bit corrupt sounding to you yet? So, we've already got one partner here from Goldman Sachs that was a vice chairman of Goldman Sachs 2005 to 2006 and the only company that's invested in Siddle which is doing election management is Ballardin Capital based out of the UK and one of the partners is now with, with Goldman Sachs. Now let's take a look at this. Mark Evans. Prior to becoming general partner, partner at Ballardin in 2002, Mark was the CEO of a US uh, software company and uh, entrepreneur in residence at Benchmark Capital in Menlo Park before his EIR experience. Mark spent 15 years at Goldman Sachs in Europe, Asia, and the US. Okay, now folks, there's only 10 partners here. Tim Bunting, which it says partner right here, he's actually a general partner, okay? Um, and then we've got Mark Evans, so these two guys right here, these, these are both Goldman guys. Now listen to this right here, Charlotte. Um, the top of her stuff is not that interesting, but check this out. Before massive Charlotte, Anne spent a year as a part of a task force established by Prime Minister Tony Blair to drive delivery of the government's key objectives. Okay, so now we have three of the ten here that have invested in the election management system that's going to be doing <laughs> the reporting in, from Spain based on the United States elections. Okay, so um, I'm sorry, but uh, this sounds extremely corrupt. Uh, we already know where Goldman Sachs take is. We've got a, t a previous experience at Tony Blair Task Force on Government Objectives. And by the way, if you take a look at these guys, um, Siddle, if you take a look at them, where are they here? They're, uh, here's where I can start seeing a pattern develop because when I take a look at this company and you can think of an internet voting process, right? And so they're, man they're gonna manage the US's voting. Now it may be done in Florida, but Siddle owns um, SOE now. So it's basically Siddle's reporting and they're based out of uh, Spain and the only company that's invested, invested in them is a company in UK where all these people are from Goldman Sachs and have, and have ties to Tony Blair. So what's interesting is if you take a look at these guys' news, okay, they basically, they're going to provide voting in Canada. Um, they're going to provide, looks like they do stuff in all these other countries. So what I'm seeing is a pattern forming. So if you can imagine all these people doing internet voting and it's all being controlled by Siddle because they're the leading guys, then where's your central control hub? It's from a company that is, that's invested in Siddle based out of the UK. Hope that's interesting to you guys and I want you to realize that you've got to pay attention uh, to what's going on with this voting system. I'm telling you, your vote does not count and they're going to stick it to us.